in the case about an alleged loan, we have Mrs. Yanakio and Mr. McCarthy as plaintiff and defendant. So, let's get it over and get it decided. Mrs. Yanakio, let me hear your side of the story, ma'am. Oh, yes, Your Honor. About four and a half years ago, Mr. McCarthy had cut his hand on a can of cat food, and he had decided to sue the company because he had lost use of that finger. Um, he needed $1,500 for the metalographer's determination of the machinery at the cat food uh, company. I loaned him the money then. Um, we had signed an agreement that in one year he would pay without interest. You know, a couple years went by and I, I touched base with Darren and he said the case still didn't go through. So it, uh, there was a point in time actually where we agreed to make maybe a bit of a barter deal to do some electric work in my apartment in Mattituck. And he came to the apartment, um, but he never came back. He, he, he never did any work? No. Yeah, Mr. McCarthy, I take it that you did have a lawsuit against a company for, uh, what was it about? I lost use, I cut my finger on a cat food can, and this injury was pretty serious, so I needed medical attention to reattach some ligaments that were in my finger. Okay, and, and you brought suit? Excuse me? You brought suit against yes, the company? Yes, I did, I brought suit against the company. And you had to hire an expert? Yes, I did. And did this lady lend you the money to hire the expert? She lent me the money, but she lent me the money as a gift, sir. She lent you the money as a gift? Yes, sir. Now, th those, two, those two terms are inconsistent. Well, she... Either she lent you the money or she, she gave, gave you the, the money. money. <laughs> but she didn't lend you the money as a gift. Uh, it can't be. She gave me the money as a gift, just like I gave her gifts, like at Christmas time, I gave her a TV, whatnot, jewelry, whatnot. $1,500 is a substantial oh, gift. Yeah. Well, a TV is a substantial <laughs> gift, too. Well, I know that, but... Um, so is jewelry and... Well, that's all very true, oh, but... Wait, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ms. Yanakio, one at a time. Now... At Christmas time, did you exchange gifts? Yes, we did. Well, she gave you something, you gave her something. That's correct. But she terminated our relationship that day, that night, matter of fact. No. Hmm? Well, no. What night? No. At Christmas. Ms. Yanakio, look, Ms. Yanakio, now I don't need to hear any mumbling from this side of the table when he's talking. I can't listen to it one at a time, okay? Yes, sir. Did you exchange gifts at Christmas and birthdays? Correct. So then what difference does it make that you gave her a TV at Christmas, she gave you something bad, didn't she? Correct. Well, all right, then how Just does like that... she gave me $1,500 as a gift. That's a gift. Uh, what, kind, what, what kind of TV costs $1,500? I'm just saying it was a gift. All right, you're saying it's a gift. It's a gift. And, I, and I have to determine at some point in time whether it was a gift. Okay, now, um, so you, 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 uh, you have to hire an expert. $1,500 changes from her to you, and that's to hire the expert. Correct. The expert gets hired, right? Correct. The lawsuit goes on. Correct. And what happens in the, in, in the lawsuit? At the end of the lawsuit, I settled with the company with a small claim. A small claim, all right. How small was small? 13000 13000 You settled with the company for $13,000. Your medical expert was financed by Ms. Ginocchio, and you don't want to pay her back? I don't want to pay her back because it was a gift, Your Honor. All right. Now, thank you, Mr. McCarthy. Now, let me get back but to I'd like to add one more thing. Okay, go ahead. We had purchased a car together. And prior to our termination of our relationship, I brought the car to her home. And I've never received any word about the car, what happened to the car, how much the car is sold for. I have a blue book value of what the car is worth today. Okay, okay, let me stop right now. Now, Ms. Janaki, we'll get back to whatever you have to tell me, but is it true that you all bought a car during your relationship? Yeah, it was like a $500 junker. <laughs> no. It was a Mustang that didn't drive. It was $500 we spent on that car. Uh, five, you, you bought the car for 500 bucks? We bought yeah. the car for $800, and it wasn't a junker. It had a beautiful paint job on it. It didn't drive. Oh, it was a nice car. The engine was was totally busted. They $800 painted this day. it with silver hey. paint. $800 this day and age isn't much of a car. I have a blue book value of the car, what it's worth today, if you'd like to see it. I sure would. If it runs, I'd like to see it. A blue book value. Our 78s don't it run. It doesn't run. <laughs> As the year goes by, the increase of the value of the car. Sure does, if it runs. <laughs> I have no proof because the car was taken away from it me. It was towed from my parking lot. I have no proof of that, Your well, Honor. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, what, same, same rules apply to you as apply to her. Yes, sir. Okay, Ms. Janakio. The car that you all bought, regardless of how much you paid for it, I take it it was put on your property? Because his landlord didn't want it in the driveway. It was leaking oil. No, you insisted Whatever. on the car being brought to your property. Shut up! 
That's it. One more time, you're out of here. Okay? I'm not going to talk to you again. You're gone. One more time. Same with you. Next time, you're out. Yes, sir. Okay, now. The car wound up on your property. Correct? Again, answer me. I have to hear. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Um, and you ultimately, did you ultimately liquidate it? That is, sell it, or dispose of it? I disposed of it, yeah. Okay. How much did you get for it when you disposed of it? $100. Do you have any documentation that has to do with the loan? Yes, I do. Or the money. I'm not going to say loan because we haven't decided that. The money that went from you to Mr. McCarthy. Do you have any documentation of that? Yes, I do, sir. Can I see it, please? Certainly. Judge, there's also a payment here. Would you offer that? Uh, yes, I would, please. Okay. Do you affirm your signature on that uh, document? Yes, I do. And that's a check for $150, right? Correct. And why did you send that to Mrs. Janakio? I do not recall. Uh, it was it on the date of 11-22-97. This is 9-98. You don't recall why I sent 150 bucks? I don't recall, Your Honor. All right. Show Mr. Janakio this document. I mean, Mr. McCarthy. Did you affirm your signature on that document? It looks like my signature, but I don't recall signing this document. Uh, does it appear to be your signature, sir? I'm not going to admit it's my signature because it's, I don't recall. Does it appear to be your signature, sir? It appears to be, yes, it does, but I don't recall signing this document. Okay. It appears to be your signature, but you don't recall signing the document, okay? This is kind of important in this case because uh, it would make it a little bit easier to decide. This is a note I'm holding, what basically says, uh, on the date of August 25th, 1993, one year after date, I promised to pay to the order of... Uh, Ms. Janakio, $1,500, uh, and uh, it was signed uh, due eight twenty-five ninety-four, and it apparently is signed by yourself. Is that not correct? I will not admit to it signed by my person because I do not recall signing such a document. And if I had signed such a document, I think it would have been wise for me to go to a notary public to have it signed in front of a notary public. You broke up with uh, Ms. Janakio when? Roughly? Uh, roughly uh, December. 25th, probably 93. 93. And you've had, do you have any contact with her, save except for hello, that type of thing, any other time? We've spoken about the electrical work that she wanted done, yes. I just right. speak on the phone about that. And now on the date of 11 97 you send her a check for $150. And you've affirmed your signature on that check. And yet you tell me you have no recollection as to why you sent her 150 bucks? I, I really don't recall. Here on. Hmm. Well, that may short circuit this case for the electrician. The judge's verdict when we come back. Anything else to think out or no, sir? Sir, I really don't recall signing any documents. Um, I really don't know why I was brung in front of you today. Well, I to do. Pay. About $1,500 worth. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I just don't have any recall of signing okay. that document. All right. I'll say this, your, your answer was very good, and I'll say this in uh, Fort is Worth, kind of like the president, uh, if you say, I don't recall, <laughs> <laughs> then, they, then if, if they get a handwriting expert to say, that's him, you can't be convicted of perjury because all you said is, well, gee, I don't remember. Okay, this is my decision. Mrs., I find as a fact that this was not a gift, it was a loan. I find as a fact that Mrs. Janakia has received $150. She deduct $150 from $1,500, which leaves $1,350. I find as a fact that Mrs. Janakia received $100 for the automobile. She deduct $100. That comes down, I believe, to uh, $1,250, if that's what it is. If that's what it is, judgment for the plaintiff for $1,250. The judge didn't buy the defendant's memory lapse and rules for the plaintiff.